What is up guys, I'm Nightspeeds and welcome back to another Skate 3 video. Today we'll be sashing El Toro as Ryan Shekler. It's two videos I've been wanting to make forever. Making Ryan Shekler in Skate 3 and also making a custom park with El Toro and skating that. So we'll just combine them because I think there's a certain trick we all want to see go down El Toro as Ryan Shekler. But let's just jump into it. There is a timestamp right here you can go to if you just want to see the skating and not me actually making Ryan Shekler. But let's just get started. At the moment it doesn't look anything like Ryan Shekler. So let's just see what we can do here. The eyes, for some reason I want to like make him real big. Let's see what plan B has to offer when it comes to caps. It's not much. A green and a blue one. I don't know. I think we'll make our own. Shoes, we gotta go Ednis. How long has he been on Ednis? For like forever? We got the Malto. Is that how old this game is? This will be these Skate 3 Ednis. And we can't go with an Alien Workshop board. Gotta come find a plain B board of course. I like a bright board so we can see the board flip. I think this is our Ryan Shakler guys. It could definitely be better, but so could the Skate 3 character editor. So I think we'll just stick with this. Here we are guys, Ryan Shakler at El Toro High School. I made this park myself. I think I spent three, four hours on it. So it's, it's kind of a quick park, but I, I like it. I like this set the most because that took me a while. I don't know if you can see this, but it is actually made up of the square rails. So we have two on the sides like this. And then I have one up sort of like this. This is how I made the steps. It definitely took a while and then I had to move it all around. So. That, that's probably the most time consuming part about making this park, but I'm really happy about it. The rails are custom made, so they look a little weird, not really close to realistic, but I like the look of them, so I'm pretty happy about that. We don't have the middle rail because I tried to make like a modern version of El Toro, but too much talking, let's do some tricks. Before we actually start sessioning El Toro 20, I just want to get some warm up tricks. Another gap I made is right here from like a little, I don't know, lunch area and you can land down here. So let's try to get a trick here. What should we do? I think I want to do some of the tricks. I'm not trying down the 20 stairs. So let's just do a pop shove it. Oh, a little faster. Perfect. Oh, oh, I'm stuck in a tree. That looked pretty sick. I like that. And I also tried to make like the little area where there are like some ledges up to rails, but I definitely made my own version of that. But you can skate this. We should probably also try to get a trick here. Which one of them should we skate though? I think I want to ollie onto this ledge, grind the rail here, land in a manual on the next ledge. I think that's our goal. I don't really know what I'm going for here. It's not like I have a particular Ryan Schickler trick in mind. I just want to get a quick little something. I guess that's our quick little something. What angle should we film this from? Is there a tree we can sit in? Oh yeah, we can sit in this tree right here. Popping way too high into that board slide, but that is a pretty low rail. But you could see Ryan Shekler, he was heading for the 20th stair. So let's go ahead and skate that. Oh my god, these lockers are way too high up. I just noticed that. But let's warm up with an ollie. Originally done by Nooch, I think. So he actually boned it a lot. Oh, pretty close. I do think that the size of the stair set is pretty good. I think it looks very realistic. Let's check it out. All right, all right, we got the Ollie. What other gap tricks can I think of? Maybe Ryan DeSenso's an Ollie, let's try that. I wanna get another style before it though. Oh, that's a tiny crack before the stair set. I don't know if that's realistic, but there is. Oh, that's the same style. Imagine doing a Nollie down a 20 stair. That's, it's just insane. I don't know what Ryan DeSenzo was thinking. I think I really like this angle. Yeah, I do. I don't like how I set up for it like... We'll have to do that again. I think we'll do it with the 360 inward heel. Damn it! I think we'll keep that one. 
And we got it. Ryan DeSenzo is now What's next? Should we just get to the kickflip, Dave Paczynski? Yeah, let's do that. I don't really remember his style on it. Maybe we'll just do it like completely standard. Yeah, I think that's good actually. I think one of the angles it was filmed from was like right down here. Oh, it was more this way, but we got some trees in the way, damn it. Ah, now we got the rail in the way. This is maybe not the best angle. Yeah, that was fine. I remember seeing that for the first time in Oakley Our Life and I was just like, what? Did he just kickflip down 20 stairs? That was a pretty insane moment in skateboarding. And he didn't even have less part. Think about Burnquist hat, but he deserves that as well, so it's all good. Next up, I wanna do TJ Rogers switch frontside 180. Has anyone done that in regular? I remember seeing two attempts from some guy and the second attempt, he just bashed his head down. So I don't think I've seen a regular 180 down the gap. If you guys know one, please link it to me. Instagram, whatever, I wanna see that. But let's just go ahead and try. Switch frontside 180. I just wanna clear the stairs exactly. I don't wanna fly out too far. Yeah, we'll keep that one, that was cool. I think one of the angles that was filmed from was like, something like this. That looks pretty cool. But all right, moving closer to Ryan Shakler's backside flip, we are going to do a back 180. I think that was done by Ryan, then Danatelli or something like that. I, I don't know what part he did it from, but it should be pretty easy to find on YouTube. Let's just try a nolly barrel heel and do it. Yeah, I guess, I think we'll do the nolly barrel heel. Yeah, a little under rotated, but we'll keep that. I think that had just like a straight on angle like this. There's also a fisheye angle, which looks insane. If you guys haven't seen the back 180, you should definitely check that out. I think we're going to raise up the camera a little bit because it looks like he's jumping insanely high. Yeah, I'm not really that pleased with that, but we'll just go ahead and keep it because I want to move on. Now we're actually gonna go for the backside flip. I think I'm just gonna bail so we have that in the ending montage of the video. Oh, I accidentally landed it. Alright, there we got it. But now let's get the backside flip. I think we will do it with the nolly and what heal before it. All right, all right. Shigla, I believe in you, because this is a video game, so I really should. I think we're going too far there. I want to make this one look really good. Ah, damn it. I think we'll go ahead and keep that one. Let's check it out. Thank God, man, we've been waiting for that backside flip for years. Should we just get another angle on it, actually? All right, I really like that. I think it looks really cool. Damn. I definitely want to see him do that in real life, but at the moment right now, I doubt we'll ever see it from Ryan Shekler at least. Should we get some more tricks? I know some dude, he tried to back 360 it. I think Shekler, he can do that. There we go. Let's get a new angle on this one. Maybe up here from the roof. Another thing we've seen being tried down El Toro is Dane Berman who tried a hard flip. I don't know what Chris Jocelyn's tried down. We've seen his wheel bite. I also think he tried a hard flip to be honest, but we've actually seen the attempt Dane has. I think it's on his Instagram. What? I like how he can just like run away from an attempt like that. When I saw that Thrasher contest bust the bail, I was sure that Shekla he could actually have backside. Oh, that was a very heel. I also think that's been attempted recently by a guy called Tony Willie or something. That was like a huge beef between him and Chris Jocelyn through Instagram. Don't worry, I still want to get the hard flip, so we'll we'll try that now. 
I'm popping way too early. But if we choose just a front angle, I think it actually looks pretty good. I just want to get two final tricks, one of them being a tray flip. Yeah, we got the tray flip pretty easily. I don't know if I like that close on angle, you can kind of see the, the glitches between the rails, but the last trick I've seen being tried is a ollie late backside shove it from Frankie Dagger, I think? The dude that used to skate a lot with Ninja. A black Ninja, not the Fortnite Ninja. I've probably seen more tricks being tried down it, I just can't remember them at the moment. Oh yeah, we've also seen switch frontside flip that came out like right after the kick flip, or a little after at least. But for the late backside shove it. We'll just get a free camera angle. Alright, I also just want to get the switch frontside flip now that I mentioned it. I think the dude was called Token who tried it. Alright, we'll keep that. A little over rotated but it added in some like arm style. And I only remember seeing that from like a far away angle like this. Yeah, probably around here actually. And there we have it, I think that was the last trick from this El Toro session with Ryan Shekler. Go ahead and check out the montage right here. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little Ryan Shigler at El Toro video. If you want to see me maybe do someone like Nigel Houston, we could do that and maybe focus more on the rails. Do remember it as being a little weird to grind, but I'm sure we could get some of the tricks that's been done down El Toro on this rail. So if you want to see that, put it down there in the comment section below, otherwise I'll probably get to that eventually anyway. If you enjoyed the video, it would definitely help out my channel a lot if you gave it a like. Also remember to subscribe of course and hit that bell to stay notified for future uploads here on the channel and then I'll just see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace